Hey guys, what's up? So I have another video for you guys this week. Um, what I want to talk about in this video is about EKG. So my EKG class was one of the classes that I struggled with the most. And if I can give advice to those of you who are wanting to apply to PA school um, or become physician assistants, is I, I wish I would have known this before I started PA school, is EKG. I came across so many EKGs and I never ever ever took the interest in learning how to read them and I am paying the price this semester. So I just wanted to talk about that. So I will be talking about that shortly, okay? Alright guys, so EKGs, what are EKGs? So EKGs, um, for those of you who have prior medical experience and have worked in a medical field, whether it was an EMT, medical assistant, etc., or even volunteered, you've probably seen them or have even had one of them um, done. Uh, EKG, basically they'll put leads on your chest um, and it basically it's a little paper that prints out and you just see a lot of waves. And I know I myself, um, I had seen them done all the time. I learned how to place the chest leads, but I, I didn't know, I didn't know how to read them. And to be honest, I never really took the interest in learning how to read them. Um, I wish I would have. And I tell my, my sister who's applying to PA school and she's wanting to become a physician assistant and some other family members that are also interested in the PA career to, if they had the chance and they have the time to take interest in learning how to read them and I really 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 suggest this uh, for those of you who are considering to apply to PA school or were accepted into PA school and are just waiting to start PA school if you have the time and you are still working in the medical field take the time to ask whether it's a physician assistant a nurse a doctor if they can um, teach you how to read those EKGs I had a lot of I struggled a lot with that class my first semester. Thankfully, I finished the semester and I was able to pass that class. I got a B um, in the class, but it was definitely a struggle. I really did. I really thought that this class was going to be the class that was not going to let me become a physician assistant because I struggled so much in it. Um, I struggled understanding it, understanding it. It's a foreign language. To me, it's like literally a foreign language. It's a new language that you're learning. Um, because you're having to learn how to read it, um, what the waves mean, what a width in particular wave means, what condition it means, what's going on with a patient if they have a width, how to, I mean, how to differentiate between it's, if it's a regular EKG versus an abnormal EKG. And if it is an abnormal EKG, well, what type of condition is it? Do they have some type of AV block, a sinus block, a bundle branch block, you know, some type of arrhythmia, um, tachycardia, bradycardia, etc. Um, being able to read the rate, um, being able to look at it and quickly uh, read the rate rather than, you know, having to count the little boxes in between the waves. And also be able to, being able to know what each wave is, what it stands for, what is going on in the heart for each wave. And it was just, I really, really, really struggled with it. Like I said, I barely barely got a B in the class um, with that class and I really thought that it was gonna I was not going to pass this first semester because of that class thankfully I was um, I know most of the students um, in my group were we were really frustrated about that class there was a lot of moments where after the class we got together and we cried I cried several times because of that class um, because I was struggling so much in it um, so that's why I told this to students that came to interview for the program that what I wish I would have learned, known, um, and would take an interest in was reading EKGs, understanding EKGs. And if you have time, um, and you're accepted into PA school, you know, try YouTube videos. Um, uh, that's what I did. I YouTube videos. Medcram was a really, really good resource for me, uh, to be able to learn how to read uh, these EKGs um, because I was reading the information, uh, the book that we were assigned, and I was also being taught by the professor, but I, I still couldn't understand it. And thankfully, one of my classmates that was just, he's just really smart and he's just an amazing student, he's gonna become an amazing PA, 
um, he was able to tutor me and um, my other classmate on about EKG and thankfully I was able to pass uh, my two last exams. I got really high scores. I got 93 on my third exam and 100 on my last exam on my final. But I can't say that for the previous exams that I didn't do well at all. And so, um, yeah, so if I, I wish I would have known this, I would have definitely taken time to be able to, if I ha if you have time, um, take time to be, you know, just uh, take that interest into asking doctors, you know, well, what does this mean? Or um, can you teach me how to read this? Or, uh, you know, what is the pattern or the rhythm that you're seeing here? Or what is the rate? Uh, all this can help you so much and it will help you do so well in your EKG class. So um, I just wanted to make a video about that. Uh, you know, EKG, I really, really struggled in it. And if you have the chance, uh, take that initiative to learn how to read the EKGs if you work in the medical field. And if you, for example, if you're a medical assistant and you're constantly having to do them and print them out, you know, you know, usually we print them out and just hand them to the doctor or to the physician assistant or to the provider on staff, just hand it to them. I never took the interest to read them. So, um, you know, it will help you in PA school. Not only in PA school, it will help you as a, help you in, as a better uh, provider. Um, you know, it's interesting that some of my professors say that uh, they would be amazed how some uh, residents had trouble reading AKGs, and it's because it's a really hard um, subject to do. Uh, some of the EMSs or EMT students in my class, they were so good at it because they had to um, learn how to read them, and they were, like, the class was a breeze for them, and I really wish I would have taken that initiative to ask the providers I work with if they could teach me um, and just be able to just look at them, you know, take the time to look at them. And if you're reading them after, of course, you know, usually if you do run them, it's because of an emergency. But if you have the time, you know, later, uh, take the initiative to be able to hopefully look at them and just try to understand them and try to read them. Um, this will definitely help you a long way in uh, PA school and as a provider, like I said. All right, guys, so I just want to talk to you about that. Just a tip about um, reading EKGs and how I struggled in the class and I used YouTube videos um, and my classmates thankfully helped me. Uh, my professor, I was able to also address, talk to my professor, he was very helpful also, but I, I still, I wasn't, it, I wasn't understanding it. And it was definitely one of those classes that caused a lot of frustration in students in my class. I can say definitely in my group, um, definitely one of the classes that I cried about a lot and I would cry my mom cry to my mom about it a lot I mean I was already stressed out and I can say that I'm a cry baby so I cry for everything especially when I'm stressed out so yeah so just a little bit of advice for you guys all right guys as always thanks for watching my videos if you guys have any questions comments feedback just let me know and I will get back to you guys as soon as possible and have a blessed day guys um, stay positive as always um, stay motivated and Pay school if you don't get in, keep applying and keep applying, you'll get in. And for those of you that got in, congratulations. Make sure you comment below so I can congratulate you guys. All right, guys, talk to you guys later.